Hello friends, in this video I am going to demonstrate about the MQGET node. So let me introduce about the MQGET node and what is the difference uh, between MQ input and MQGET node. As we know, MQ input is used to read the message from the client and same work MQGET node do. So MQGET node also used to read the message from the client but in the middle of the message flows and MQ input node we can use uh, in the starting of the message flow. Generally MQ get node is used to read the message from the queue based on the message ID and correlation ID. If we we'll go to the properties of the MQ get node We have one properties like a request. Here we can see the option get the message by the correlation ID and get the message by message ID. Here we are using get the message by message ID. We are retrieving XML data from the queue and the queue is in queue. And MQ input node Q is in and output Q node Q name is out. We already created this Q. If will if we are not using MQ, uh, we, we are not selecting any properties uh, like. Uh, get the message by message ID and correlation ID. So MQ get node will read uh, will retrieve the data which is uh, based on first in first out manner. So suppose there is a four uh, masses piled up in the MQ get node in the queue I and Q. So if there is a four message, so we need to trigger MQ get note four times so it will retrieve four records. So it is based on our logics how to uh, trigger this MQ get note four times. But uh, uh, mostly we are using the properties like get by correlation ID or get by message ID. Here we have taken an MQ input node and the compute nodes. In the compute nodes, we are retrieving the message ID as a request. And based on this message ID, we will retrieve the records from the MQ get node. We will uh, map this message ID into the message ID output root MQMD dot message ID. Copy entire message header and uh, copy entire message we are using as it is. What we will re uh, re uh, retrieve from the uh, as a request, we are uh, propagating the same as a response. So, here in the MQ get note queue, we'll uh, store some messages just first uh, here we are using masses ID based on the message ID true uh, 
Here we can use as a test no issues. Copy first second third four Here we can see there are four masses piled up in the queue, which is uh, uh, using, uh, which is used for MQ get node. Let's read the masses IDs for this queue. First, for the first. This is the message ID. For the second and third. For the third, so let's uh, retrieve. Uh, let's uh, read the third message from using MQ get node. We'll copy this message ID. We will pass as a request to this message ID. And deploy this flow. Copy the request masses path. This is our request masses. Using RFH util C, we will pass in the MQ input node. MQ input node Q name is in. This is the message ID. This is a, as a character. Launch the debugger. It's already launched so let's initiate the request now see our masses ID is we are passing as a request uh, we can uh, just uh, focus on the last four digit double C06 we'll go inside F6 check on the output root MQMD message ID see here this is the same as a double C06 so MQ get note will retrieve the uh, records uh, which is uh, related uh, with this message ID. See, we have retrieved the third record based on the message ID. That's all about the use of MQGAT node. Please subscribe our TechMart channel and click on the bell icon. Thank you.